Okay, uh, we're back, and instead of just filming uh, or recording myself modeling every stage, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we're actually jump. We're jumping ahead to where I've actually modeled uh, uh, quite a bit more detail and gotten. Uh, you know, I see. You can see I've actually added enough edge loops to actually have a nice. Uh, sort of rounded off wheel well here. And what I've also done is I've gone in and with my uh, delete edge or uh, delete right here, delete selected poly, poly components tool, I've taken the time to remove all the edges so that uh, these are actually individual faces, um, which I'm going to in a minute here extrude out so that we have a nice uh, hollowed out recess area for our wheels. So if you see, I've also kind of matched some of our uh, reference images uh, uh, lines so that we can have our edges kind of match up to where our texture seams would be. Um, and so basically, what you want to do when you get to this stage in your model is just kind of look at it from every view. Um, you can see, we'll just pop into 3D view here. I've got just half the model done here. I can duplicate it real quick and look at it from a distance. And then I'll go into my front view, see what happened here. Uh, so yeah, so what happened there was, it wasn't on the, on the, um, so on the Y axis. Now I've got my pivot center to the Y axis and you can see my transforms on for this model, for this side. Are frozen so when I duplicate special I have actually it looks like looks like the reference is not lined up so we'll fix that real quick if I duplicate it in the top view pretty close, but it's actually, there we go. Now again, you want to get as close as possible, but we can live with some imperfections. I am going to fix, if I turn on my back face filling, and x-ray. We can move some of these. And you can see it does still get a little trickier now when you want to move a bunch of vertices wholesale now that we have more resolution. You just got to be careful that you're not, you know, grabbing an edge or a ver uh, set of vertices that you don't want to be moving. So, but uh, what I what I want to do is just get to this po to a point where I'm okay with starting to uh, d recess areas and decimate it a little bit. So. So there we go. I'm going to line this front edge up with this grill part here. And okay. Oh, 
let's take a look at that. There we go. Let's move that in. Okay. So now uh, you can see that uh, as with most cars, they have a uh, some sort of back backing that you're going to need behind the wheel. Uh, it wouldn't make sense just to hollow that out completely. Um, we so you know we could we could have chosen the boolean method, but I am let me fix this edge real quick. Something got moved. Uh, just do this real quick. Okay, I straightened out that edge. Okay, so since we've got these edges removed, it'll be very easy. Uh, we just, what we're gonna end up doing is removing this row of faces after this operation, actually, we could go ahead and just do that right now. So if I grab those, delete them, and then take this, these two faces, you could do them one at a time, but I'm just going to do them together. I'm going to do this extrude operation. You can see, and pretty good. Um, we're going to now do some welding. Um, this is a target weld tool. So if I go to my edges mode and I'm in this tool, I could just grab these two edges and weld them. Grab these two and weld them. I'm going to do this over here. Same operation, just staying in the tool. Okay, we don't want these faces here. And there we go. So we still have to deal with these. So we're gonna just use the target weld tool for our vertices, which is a great tool because you don't have to, it's like the merge tool, but you don't actually have to select two things. You just select the first one. Oops. I want to select that one. And there we go. And it's just not looking great. There we go. So these last vertices here. Oops. There we go. Okay, so if we step back and I'll turn off the reference just for a second here and hide the grid. There we go. So despite the fact that, oops, that these are uh, blank, you know, they don't, they don't have uh, edge loops connecting, we can clean that up pretty quickly. Um, let me grab this. Just go ahead and grab our multi cut tool. Um, there 
Okay, those are fine. We can now connect. Oops. We have to weld these edges. Okay, sorry about that. Oops. So you get the idea. I'm just using the multi cut tool to sort of tie up these edges so they don't have uh, non terminating points. And that's okay, that is a four sided. Poly. And you know we're we're gonna end up with this increased resolution in the bottom. So we'll probably go back through and do a pass where we collapse a lot of these edges because they're not necessary and we can have triangles underneath our model that it does not matter at all. Okay, so in our next video, we will get on with the modeling and that we'll start to uh, wrap up this car body. Uh, we'll add some of the uh, ornamental uh, and custom look by adding uh, uh, and moving edge loops around the uh, exhaust on the hood. We'll sort of set up uh, some of the details, uh, such as the side mirrors and the car uh, wheels, and we'll uh, it'll be done. In our next video, uh, we should finish off the model and get started working on the UV.